Hey guys, thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Please like and subscribe with notifications on if you guys like this content. We like to do more of an analytical approach to things um, and show some different content than most. Today we're going to be looking at a, a graph that I like to make, um, which is essentially uh, volume versus price with a color-coded time dimension. Um, so this is just one of the ones I like to make for, for some of the coins I'm looking at. And we're going to be looking at Ethereum today. And the general idea of this video is to kind of get a feel for, for time and, you know, when moves do occur, how quickly they occur. And then, you know, to give you an idea of how, how long in general, not a whole lot of, of movement is occurring. Now, um, you'll notice the dates here. I just want to clarify. Um, I'm using the American format. So this would be like February uh, 2016. This would be March 2017. So we're essentially moving from 2015 all the way up to present day. So um, basically these symbols will be color coded based on when they're occurring. So 2015 will be dark blue. As we move up, you know, 2017 or 2016 will get a little bit lighter shade. 2017 is going to be this lighter blue to the screen. Um, yellow and orange will be 2018. And then as we move into red and darker red, that'll be 2019. So I'm going to go ahead and play this for you guys so you guys can get a feel of what's going on. So again, we have volume um, versus price. And we're just going to watch basically to see what we're doing. So here you can see back in 2015, uh, we were primarily just in this region um, where we where Ethereum was you know, around the dollar mark, 10 to the zero, plus or minus a few dollars. Um, and it more or less corresponded to volume of 10 to the 6 and you can see that it has a move here and there's not a whole lot of room between um, you know that accumulation range at the bottom and then kinda of where it heads you can see that the the data points uh, become somewhat sparse in between 10 to the 0 to 10 to the 1 um, and that they're they're cluttered on the on each side of that region so each data point corresponds to one day um, so there's gonna be you know, over a thousand of these data points that are popping up as we move through time. So I, I could just put the whole graph up, um, but I, I like to, to play it for you guys so you got it. You get a kind of a feel for for how how the market is how it behaves. So here you can see, you know, Ethereum spent a long time uh, just in in the price of around ten dollars, corresponding to a volume basically of of ten million, which is ten to the seventh. Um, here we're moving into twenty seventeen. I'll remember that uh, each data point is one day, and, and you can see we kind of had a, a little bit of a, a, a shift upward here. Um, they're not very cluttered in between this shift, so you can see each time we kind of jump forward. We don't really just steadily, steadily move. We, we stay in one region for a really long time, we build support in that region, and then we make a move up to the next region. So you can see we've done it. We did it at 10 to the 0, which is $1, and then we we're there for a long time, we moved up to 10 to the 1, which is $10. And then the volume moved up commensurate with the price. Now, in this range, it you can see that it's around $100 um, at a volume around 10 to the 9th. Okay, so we're, we're basically just moving up this, this chart. Um, now, as we get into 2018, you can see we hit that $1,000 mark, um, and then we're, we're coming back down, uh, and we're establishing our, our area of support. So you can see, and I, I, I'm trying not to move my mouse so that it doesn't um, uh, pull up, you know, make the video have that bar at the bottom. Um, but you know, you can see, but between the zero, ten to the zero, and ten to the one, there's a lot of of um, uh, there's not very many data points. We didn't spend a lot of time in that region, and then between ten dollars and a hundred dollars, we didn't really spend that much time in that region. Um, uh, and it, you know, it, it tends to to cluster around. A you know a certain a certain point. Um, what does this mean? Well, it could mean that you know we're going to you know when if and when um, Ethereum does make a move, it you know it's going to move it's going to push further on this graph uh, ra rather quickly. I mean we might spend a few weeks in a in a given region, but it it could mean that once it once it moves, it might not spend you know that much time. Um, say between, you know, two hundred to a thousand dollars. If it does make a move, 
it's possible that it, it you know it has established its support and then it's just going to to move up that to move up the ladder basically um, which is basically what it's done in the past you can see again from 10 to the 0 to 10 to the 1 there is a, a huge amount of support at 10 to the 0 a huge amount of support at, um, and I think it's probably stopped playing so you can see there's a lot of support around here before we moved up a lot of support here and then we moved up and now we're just we're getting support here um, now part of the reason why the volume is shifted up here is I'm, I'm guessing it's probably some from you know fake volume potentially I know there's some exchanges where that's an issue um, so I wouldn't really pay too much credence to that um, but what we're going to be looking for is to really establish support like we did at 10 to the 0, like we did at 10 to the 1, now we're establishing support at, at around 10 to the 2, which is $100. I mean, clearly we're, we're more than $100, but just in this general region. And then you can see that once it was established, then we, we move up. And the time spent in this region in between, between these orders of magnitude, might only be, you know, a month or two, or, or, or something like that. Um, so hopefully, um, at some point, um, Ethereum will will decide it's established enough support in the one hundred dollar range, which you know plus or minus you know I mean up to two hundred dollars. You know these aren't exact. I mean we we shift out here um, uh, significantly. I mean and note these are both log scales, so it's log log. Um, so I'm hoping that you know where we will see a a push up again um, at some point. If you guys like this video, let me know. Please like and subscribe to the to the channel. Um, I just I don't want to keep the content coming because I really like your guys' feedback. And you know, let me know what you guys think about this type of a graph. Do you like this type of a graph where I show the volume versus the price um, with the color coded time dimension? Do you have ideas for other types of graphs you would want to see? Um, are there other coins you might want to see this type of graph for? Just let me know down in the comments below, um, and I will see you next time. Bye.